Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter, and the day has finally come for me to find something that answers all of my dreams. And are you the type of person that has an absolutely quadrillion, zillion, billion different sound effects, files, music, everything, and you've got to rummage around in loads of folders and search Windows Explorer to actually search them? Maybe I was just always really unorganized with my sounds, but I never knew anything existed. Now, this is a program from a team called Sound Particles, and they've got the program called Explorer, which is completely free for you to use, and it allows you to manage all of your sounds, play them in the nice interface, add to categories, have a nice way to search through them, organize them, and organize everything that you use in sound effects music for games. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 145 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. You can find it on the Sound Particles website and you can click to download now. You need to make sure that you click on Windows and you'll create a free account and it takes you about five seconds to do. And before we get started, you can always find audio effects and things on the Unity Asset Store for free and on Humble Bundle. And I'll leave all the links in the description for you to check some of them out because these are the collections that I've got over the time and the massive collections for ridiculous savings are absolutely free. Now you can see here in my sound effects folder that I've just got an absolute massive metric ton of sound effects that I want that I never knew I could organize. So we've got Explorer open now. We can go to the right hand corner. You can import files or you can import folders. So you can import sound effects completely separately or you can import an entire folder. Now if I click import folders, I can go to anywhere where I might have anything and I could just import the whole thing is that I've just created a bunch of battle sounds, audio music and things like that. And if I press select, it will import all the details and show me sometimes certain file formats like M4A are not supported. It will not import specific things like JPEGs and it will give you a warning if that's the case. But once it's found all of these things, whether the OGG, MP3, WAV, anything like that, they'll import in. You can press close on that and you can see everything's been brought in automatically and it auto categorizes the audio that I've got. Now, this is great because this doesn't create a new collection of the sounds, like saving them to your hard drive again. They'll still be in the same place because if I right click and show in Explorer, they're still in the same place that they were before, but this is just a nice way to manage them. So it's almost an instanced version of it. You can see all the settings for the duration of the channels, the category, you can give them ratings. And if you select any of the actual audio names, you can see all the details for it. So if you do like this video, be sure to leave a like and make sure you subscribe to always be kept up to date to what I'm doing. And with it selected, you can go at the bottom and you can press play on the audio to be able to test it. And you can do basic audio editing, like making fades, adjusting pitch and things like that, but that's not really what I'm always interested in. Now on the left hand side here, we've got all the categories that you can possibly have for your different assets. If it's auto categorized them in there, remember that when we click on a particular section or category, it will auto filter those for us and we can filter by keywords. Like if we want electronic battle, I can filter by electro. I can make sure that it's in the battles folder for everything that has that keyword. If you did need to change the category for whatever reason is that you could select multiple. If I didn't want these to be in crowds and battles, we could select them, right click and change category. And I could rename these to whatever of the actual categories that we may want to find this specifically for. If you didn't like any of the categories that were used, you can add them to your own playlist. So you could add them to a new playlist and you can do that on the left hand side. If you go to playlist and you click the little plus in the bottom here and we can call this speed shooter. And this is my own set of playlists and we can select them again, right click, add to playlist and add them to speed shooter playlist. Now on that side, you can see that now it's in that playlist. So they might be specific to whatever game you might be created that you want to keep hold of the ones that you want to use. We do have, again, all the folders that you can browse to, to get any of the sound effects that you might want. And then specifically, if you want to filter by particular formats that you may have at any one time. And remember all these things, when you click on them or highlight over them, they will filter them by location, by type, or whatever category you've searched for. If you do need to do any exporting, you can choose to right click any of the audio clips, say export as, and you can export as three different file formats, WAV and FLAC at different bit depths if you really want. 
and you can export that into a place where you specify. So do let me know what you think of this and if you have any tips on be it how you've managed your other audio. And I will leave the links in description where you can get loads of different audios for absolutely free and check out all the humble bundles and things like that. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 145 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Be sure to come and chat to me on Discord and check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store, along with massive savings on my website from up to 20 to 40% on all of my assets. So big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, David76, Gene Pomu, Manos Berekas, Terence Conrad, Gage Linston, Walter Dunson, John John Games, Joseph Newman, Rene Leisure, Darren M, Topher Chambers, Kreshnik Halili, Matt Claudius, Bond of Blood, Isaac Simani, Julian Gonzalez, Gary McGee, and Harry Dobson. And thanks to everybody else for coming to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.